Go heroes. Just miss here, just. Yeah, stay out here in the woods. Enjoying the nice cool weather. Actually, a little bit chilly almost tonight. Like, holy crap. It's actually starting to get chilly at night already. After only one week of unbearable heat, it's actually really cooling off here in the Ozark Mountains. Just uh, having that 15 gram midnight, uh, bedtime snack of a uh, bag, little bag of chips. Some uh, Fritos tonight, right now Cheetos, we've got some Fritos here. I uh, went to the doctor today, uh, she said doing good with the diet plan. Uh, down to uh, 280 from 300. Still trying to uh, lose some more weight here uh, before the end of the year. But here's what Joe Smith wants to talk to you about tonight. First of all, uh, just want to give a shout out to all the heroes of the Hero Nation, especially the heroes in Fort Wayne, Indiana. You don't have to. You don't have to say who you are. You don't have to say who Joe Smith's referring to. Maybe there's more than one. Pretty sure there's more than one. Pretty sure there's a lot of heroes in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but you know, you don't have to, you don't have to speak up on who you are. Just everyone give a shout out to the heroes of Fort Wayne, Indiana. And also uh, give a shout out to the multiple heroes in Pennsylvania. And of course, give a shout out to all the heroes of the Hero Nation. Of course, just like every video Joe Smith does, shout out to all the heroes of the Hero Nation. Alright, topic of tonight's story. Past, uh, past week, past two weeks maybe. I think it started about two weeks ago. Uh... I just got another one just now. But for the past couple weeks, uh, about once a day, once a night or something, maybe two some days, uh, maybe uh, go three or four days without any. But over the past couple weeks, every couple days or so, been getting these emails from YouTube. And yes, they are actually legit emails. It's not some fake uh, scam thing or whatever. Trying to steal your password. It's actually legit emails from YouTube. And first of all, the first few were uh, videos from, gosh, like two years ago, maybe. Joe Smith was giving some instructions and tutorials and demonstrations about using some, like, milling and machine tools to uh, machine blocks of aluminum. You know, like machine or mill out aluminum paperweights and then a uh, couple other tutorial videos about assembling like you know the hobby model kits you know like you got when you're a kid you got like a model car kit or a model airplane kit or something well that's kind of like this you, it's like a model kit for adults that Joe Smith did a tutorial about how to assemble this model hobby kit for adults after you uh, use your machining and milling tools to machine your aluminum paperweight into an artistic sculpture. You know, 
that artistic sculpture of that aluminum paperweight might be worth $500,000 like Hunter Biden's uh, paintings are. You never know. Alright. YouTube removed all those for violating some sort of terms and policy. Uh, I think they said something about you aren't showing enough dildos in your video. Joe Smith's going to have to go buy a dildo and start showing those in his video because apparently if you show a dildo in your video, then your videos are safe and will not be removed. So you can show all the dildos you want, but you cannot show yourself machining a uh, aluminum block paperweight into an artistic sculpture with tools and you cannot show a video assembling like a model kit like you know like a model car model airplane or something you know but now past week or two it's gone above and beyond that now keep getting all these age restriction notes. I just got another one, another video uh, about two minutes ago come through. And that's why Joe Smith here finally decided to come out and be like, okay, let's do a video about this before going to bed here. Check the email before going to bed and, and see this email notification about another YouTube video that's been age restricted. Well, first of all, Bill Smith does not claim his videos are suitable for people under 18. In fact, uh, they're all marked uh, like adults only not suitable for under 18 or something. They're not suitable for children, whatever it is. So they don't advertise them to children, you know, like that channel where it's like is this my dick or a dildo in your asshole? You know that channel? They advertise that to children. You know the dick or my dildo? Or my dildo or dick in your asshole, which is it? They advertise that channel to children, but Joe Smith marks all his videos as uh, do not advertise to children. 18 and up. Even though uh, Hero Maltron uh, it's only like 17, but, uh, Joe Smith won't tell anyone if no one else tells anyone, and no one else better tell anyone that Hero Maltron is only 17, because he's a really cool-ass dude, man. Coolest dude you will meet, man. He's awesome, man. But, you know, even the After Dark series, and, and most of those were just, like, simple everyday interviews, probably more G-rated than shit you see on Disney Channel, but just kind of mark them all as like TV, MA, rated R, whatever, 18 plus only. You know, just in case uh, Joe Smith kind of said like, you know, fuck or shit or ass or something like that, or maybe one of the guests accidentally said, like, fuck, or shit, or ass, or something like that. So that's why Joe Smith kind of marks us all, all his videos and all the After Dark series as, like, 18 plus, in case someone says, like, fuck, or shit, or ass, or something like that. You know, it happens once in a while, it slips out. You get talking every now and then you'd be like, oh fuck, or something like that. Like, these are some fucking good chips. Uh, you know, Joe Smith think trying to advertise to kids, like, you know, like the Dick or Dildo channel is. But here's the thing, here's the thing, all the videos that YouTube 
is marking age restricted here. Um, looking at the titles <coughs> and kind of remembering them. Looking back at the videos. Every single one of them shows news clips that were published on mainstream media, TV news, mostly network TV news, of the mostly peaceful protests of 2020. So all these videos are now being age-restricted, deemed inappropriate for under 18, that should have already been age restricted. Are all videos showing clips that were on CNN, MSNBC, MSDNC, whatever, CNBC, NBC, CBS, ABC, or Fox, or PBS. All these videos contain clips from the mostly peaceful protests to uphold democracy, to stop Trump from stealing the election of 2020. It's all peaceful protest videos, or videos showing clips of the peaceful protests. Trying to protest Trump from stealing the election. Trying to protest Black Lives Matter. And now all of a sudden liberal YouTube is theming that all these news clips that Joe Smith used in his videos are inappropriate for people 18 and under. Wow! Imagine the hypocrisy. Wow, it's like, yeah, what's the word for us? It? Like, fuck you, you two. Like, you know, for a whole fucking year, you promote this stuff. For a whole fucking year, you two promote this bullshit, this fucking bullshit. CNN, MSDNC, C, uh, CNBC, NBC, ABC, CBS, uh, uh, MS Fuck My Ass. They all promote this bullshit. They all show these clips. Here's another peaceful protest. Here's another mostly peaceful protest last night until the police got there and started assaulting them. So the police got there and started assaulting black people. So the police got there and started throwing tear gas. So it was just mostly peaceful protesting, mostly peaceful burning of businesses and buildings and churches. This is a mostly peaceful breaking of windows. It's mostly peaceful killing of David Dorn, a black man. Until, you know, police got there and interfered with their right to mostly peaceful protests. But now all these videos of all these mostly peaceful protests that Joe Smith has posted in the past year, year and a half, whatever, YouTube is now saying it's inappropriate. And are now age restricted above and beyond the age restriction Joe Smith already put on them. So how is that for hypocrisy? You want to know how you spell hypocrisy? You know, hypocrisy is actually a hard word to spell. It's 
You know, it said I or Y or second one Y or I. It said C. It said S. It said A or I or Y or it's like you know, a lot of people will just don't know how to spell hypocrisy. Well, here's how you can remember how to spell hypocrisy. Okay, it start hypocrisy is spelled like this. It starts out with a Y O U and then it ends with a T U B E. Okay, that's how you spell hypocrisy. Just remember Y O U T U B E. It's easy. That's how you spell hypocrisy. And how do you spell mostly peaceful protest? You spell it like this F U Y O U T U B E. Good night, heroes. It's Joe Smith signing out.